Hello everyone, it's been a while. I've been inactive in the content department recently but I've also been busy. Here I'll be talking about what I've been doing for the past few months, as well as answer some of your frequently asked questions. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using this very enthusiastic voice and this friendly chibi as my avatar. Let's begin. Since last year, I've been working on a major personal project called the Shapeshifter Project. The focus is about a dashing prince, a terrible massacre, and a mysterious shape-shifting demon. Also sex and action. I've been getting help from really wonderful people working on art and backgrounds and I can confirm that this project is the biggest one we've ever made. The animation will be released sometime this year, I'll drop a trailer with a release date when it's almost done. We're currently at the cleanup or line art stage and it is without a doubt the most tedious part of the animation process for us. Please be patient. Here's a sneak peek of the voices in this animation. On the fucking throat. That's all I can reveal for now. I hope you will enjoy this one. This is a small side project that serves as a break from working on Shapeshifter to avoid burnout. The story is about a tourist who encounters two cute mimes. I wonder what will happen. It's a lot shorter, a lot snappier, and a lot more stupid. Running time is only around 2 to 4 minutes but I think it's a fun concept. I just finished coloring this project so currently I'm working on the fluids and goo animation, lovely. I know this isn't important but for my free time I've been making some short gifs and artworks that are more wholesome and safe for work than my regular derpix and content. I'll make a separate YouTube channel for these animations in the future. If you want to follow my progress in real time, I regularly stream on Twitch and Picardo. If you like more regular updates or just need a place to watch my works, you can follow me on social media, I would suggest that you watch my older works too while waiting. That's all for the updates. Now for the question and answer part, keep in mind that I'm no expert in this field of art so any tip or advice you hear from me is not the best one to listen to. Alright, let's go. What software and tablet do you use? Currently, I'm using Toon Boom Harmony for animations. I used to animate in Adobe Flash for a long time but I got tired of the usual problems it has, especially the later versions. For digital art I use Clip Studio Paint and my tablet is a Santique Pro 24. The rest are here. Where is Fandle Tales Part 2 or Party Games Part 2? Will they ever have sequels? No. I'm honestly not in the mood to make sequels, and I don't want to force out content that I won't enjoy making. There's a lot more ideas I'd like to share, and sequels are definitely not on my list. If I plan to continue those, I'll let you know. When did you start animating slash become an animator? I started off with Flipnote animation when I was little, but got more serious with it when I became Derpixen back in 2014. Did you have a job before animation? I worked as a part-time slacker before. Now I'm doing it full-time together with drawing. Do you get horny while drawing your stuff? No. Not even once. I'm too preoccupied with trying to make the animation look nice and hot. I feel like I've been exposed to lewd stuff for so long that I'm desensitized to it already. In short, I feel nothing. What has given you inspiration in the past for your longer animations? And how do you stay motivated for them for so long? What inspires me to work on larger projects is just me wanting to see how far I could stretch my limits as an animator. Make no mistake. Getting motivated to work on a long animation is very difficult, and there were a lot of times when I started to doubt myself about how people are gonna react to my work, or if it's even worth doing in the first place. When that happens, I take a step back and just focus on finishing small tasks instead of stressing out over the big picture all the time and that definitely helped me a lot. Do you still plan on finishing Project Noir? For the second question, this is the perfect example of what can happen when you attempt to make a huge project and fail. For those who don't know, I used to have a project called the Noir Project and it took me around 5 months of production before I decided to stop continuing. Why? Because of poor planning, overly ambitious goals, and burnout. This, together with real life stuff getting in the way just turned this production into a disaster. By the time I was in the rough animation stage, I realized that the running time was already more than 10 minutes and I haven't even reached half of the story so I decided to cancel it altogether. Bad on my part. Okay, let's move on. If you could go back and change any aspect of any of your animations, what would you change? Let's see, if there's things I'd like to change in most of my animations it would be that I wish I added more shots that focus on the settings or the world where the characters live in. I also wish I fleshed out the writing on other characters too and gave them more interesting shots and angles. 
Are you interested in making an actual game like an RPG or visual novel, but with your animations? Yes, I'm open to the idea. I just can't make time to learn game dev at the moment and I know that's a whole different beast. Would you ever do a comic? Yes, I'm also open to the idea. But lately I've realized that I have more patience to draw a million frames than to finish a single still image. I guess I just really prefer to see things move. <laughs> ¿Tienes artistas, animadores que te inspiren? ¿Y quiénes son, por supuesto? There's so many inspirational people that my feeble brain forgot their names already. However, here are some that come to mind, in no particular order. What's your stance on people using your characters in a fan game? If a person had your permission, would you let them use your characters as a cameo slash secret character in a game? Yes, I wouldn't mind at all, and I would even appreciate it as long as there is credit of course. And this also goes for fan art in general. You're free to make fan art of my OCs, safe for work or not. I live for that shit. Left or right? I'm left-handed, so I use it for almost everything. Aimerez-vous collaborer avec d'autres artistes ou animateurs dans le futur? Sure, why not? I've already joined a Newgrounds collab before and it was a fun experience in getting to know more artists and watching their progress as they go. What are your plans after Shapeshifter? I'm gonna find a nice speech with a quiet atmosphere. Lie down on the pristine white sand, close my eyes, listen to the gentle waves, breathe in that fresh sea breeze, and just sleep. Are all Dipperson's animations connected in the same world? Some of them are, but I'll let you figure out which one of those are connected. Any plans on migrating genres? I love your work, especially your safer work stuff. Do you have any project outside of the not safer work sphere that you're working on? Honestly, I'd like to make more safe for work stuff. I have some plans for these OCs that I would like to materialize but only when I have the time. Outside of my lewd works, I usually just do random sketches or gifs of my OCs. We'll see what the future holds for us. How long does the animation process take altogether? From the early storyboards to the final cleanups, and what was the hardest animation you made? It depends on the type of animation. A simple loop can take a few days to a week. A simple story with some loops can take a month or two and a huge project can take a year or even more to finish. This current shapeshifter animation is definitely the most challenging one so far. What inspired you to do what you do for us cultured people? I just genuinely love to entertain people with my stories. The type of media doesn't matter to me as long as the goal is the same. How have you been to Pixon? I've been fine. Headaches and fatigue are more frequent recently but overall I'm fine. No worries. Did you study to cheer or learn from YouTube videos? XD. Yeah, never went to art school. I just watched some YouTube videos and tried to study slash imitate how pros do their work. People's enjoyment for their own works change over time. What's the change that you've seen within yourself? What do you enjoy out of your artworks now versus when you started? If it's changed at all? I used to be satisfied with being able to animate bouncing breasts, now I enjoy giving those bouncing breasts some context. What I mean is the storytelling part of the process is what I find so fun about making these animations lately. Normal human stuff, you know. Like eating cereal. What's your favorite game or favorite game series? I mostly prefer turn-based RPG games, so stuff like Final Fantasy, Persona, and that recent Yakuza game really appeals to me. Usually it's the art direction, music, and creature design of those games that hook me in the most. Hey! What's your favorite fruit? Mangoes. Any art or animation tips? Using references is a big help. If you want to know how to animate a punch then study boxing videos, if you want to know how to animate bouncing butts and breasts then watch porn. Or Twitch. What kind of music do you listen to? I enjoy most types of music as long as it has good beats to jam to, so stuff like jazz, trance, hip-hop, dreamcore, drum, and bass, house, new metal and funk are some of the genres I like a lot. Do you have any passion apart from animation you want to share? I am very good at making this specific type of sound with my mouth. And how many languages can you speak? I am very fluent with two languages. The first is English, the second is the language of love. Yes. Hey, um, how, how, how do you, how, um, uh, hey, uh, how, how, how do you, pr how do you, how do you pronounce, how do you? Der, pick, sen, it's not German related to. Where do you mainly post your works? Newgrounds and Twitter. But I would suggest new grounds more for my mostly complete gallery. What are tips you'd give to upcoming artists? Don't die. 
You have very limited time in this world so always use it to become productive and express yourself. There's no one else in the world who can be better than you except you yourself. That is all I can answer for now, thank you for reaching the end of this video, hopefully the next uploads will be actual animations, yeah? Thank you for the support as always, bye bye.